Hey, good morning, good afternoon. How are we doing, students? This is Mr. Estrada. I have a really good story for you. A couple years ago, I was on a high-rise hotel elevator, and it started making me think about these things, specifically the elevator buttons and behavior. Why is it some people always seem to be pushing the wrong button in life? Let me explain. Let's say you push the up button on the elevator. That means you did a good choice or you were doing something good. Let's say you push the button to make the elevator go down. You made a bad choice or you did something wrong. You help an old person cross the street safely. You push the up button. You push an old person. You push the down button. You finish your homework. Up button. You rip up your homework and throw it in the trash. Down button. Picking up trash off of the ground. Up button. Throwing your gum anywhere or your trash anywhere. The down button. Disrupting the class going la 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 la. When your teacher's trying to talk. The down button. Stopping somebody that's disrupting the class. That's the up button. As a teacher, if I allow a student to disrupt the class, then I am pushing the down button. If I stop somebody that's disrupting the class, I am pushing the up button. Elevator button pushing is for everybody. Not just the teachers, not just the students, not just the family members, everybody. The up button represents good attitude, responsible behavior, and caring. The down button represents bad attitude, irresponsible behavior, and a lack of caring of others or yourself. Why would anybody actually choose the down button? Is it really a choice? No one is holding a finger to you and saying you must push the down button or the up button. Some people just go in the elevator and don't push any button at all. They just stand in there. Let their, they let their friends push the buttons. If the but friends push down, then they go down and everybody gets in trouble. And, the, and then they say, I didn't push the down button. They did, they did. The problem that they made was that they went into the elevator with a bunch of people that pushed the down button. <sighs> Perhaps you can decide, you can make the choice ahead of time before you get in the elevator that I'm gonna push the up button. And sometimes the elevator's going the wrong way, it's going down. But every elevator that I've ever been has an emergency stop button. Sometimes you have to get out of that elevator and go to a different one that's going up or get out of that elevator and just figure out what you want to do before you get it somewhere else. So I have three questions for you. What type of button pusher are you? Do you push the up button, the down button, or you don't know? The people that usually push that question number two. The people that usually push the up button, can you trust them? Can you believe in them? What about question number three? The people that usually push the down button, can you trust them? Can you believe in them? I want you to think about the buttons that you push, what they do for other people. When you help out your mom and dad clean the bedroom, clean the laundry, Take out the trash, up, up, up. When you throw your trash in the living room or you're making a big mess because you're going too fast and you're just excited about something and you don't pay attention, down button. When you don't clean up your own mess, down button. You have all these choices to make. Try to push that up button. And the more you push the up button, the easier it gets. And I'm really excited that I get to teach you these things. So just remember that your behavior affects everybody. When you push up, 
everybody around you wants to push up. When you push down, you're bringing everybody down. So just be very conscious that your behaviors affect everybody around you. So when you go into an elevator next time, think about this. Think about your behaviors. And I hope that you try your best to push the up button. Thank you, parents. I hope you're watching. I hope that you remind your students, hey, did you push the up button today? Hey, did you push the down button? Why did you push the down button? And hopefully everybody gets to push the up button. I'm really happy that you're part of my class and I hope you have a great weekend and I'll talk to you next week. Take care.